Tonight, Brigham and Women's Hospital has launched a new clinical trial for a groundbreaking vaccine for Alzheimer's. WBZ's Ania Maldonado shows us how it's been decades in the making. 20 years, that's how long Dr. Howard Weiner of Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital says he and his team spent researching a possible Alzheimer's nasal vaccine. And now he's launching the very first trial. Potentially, it could be something that could be a treatment for people with the disease. And even more important, it could be something to prevent people from ever getting the disease. The trial will last six months, consisting of 16 patients with mild signs of Alzheimer's. Weiner says the vaccine is a unique approach to potentially preventing the disease by affecting a person's immune system. So that we give this nasal vaccine, the immune system gets activated, the cells go into the brain, and clear out the amyloid and fight against the disease. Clayton Kershaw was diagnosed with Alzheimer's four years ago at the age of 57. With the new trial, he's hopeful for the future. Living with Alzheimer's disease is, um, it's devastating. So it's exciting to see something new come across the board. The Alzheimer's Association calling this year an exciting time due to a rise in recent treatments and trials. In June, the FDA granted accelerated approval for the very first Alzheimer's drug. And I really do believe now that the first survivor, it's going to be young, you talked about other generations, is out there. Um, because of the incredible work that the scientific community is doing. Dr. Weiner says once this trial is complete, they'll begin a second trial that will last up to a year, and he hopes to have a vaccine ready by 2026. In Boston, Zania Maldonado, WBZ News.